to the ground Hearing the sound Here it is now 901 Track Mind Hello friends On this episode of 901 Track Mind We're at the world famous Sun Studio in Memphis, Tennessee To talk to Graham Winchester About his song First Memory Graham is a singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and all-around musical badass. He plays in more bands than you can shake a drumstick at, but here's a few of them. The Sheiks and Jack O, Turnstiles, So Gung Ho, Cassette Set, Devil Train, MDs, Tennessee Screamers, Raining Sound, and of course, Graham's solo jams, which is what we'll be talking about today with his track, First Memory. He's also a tour guide at Sun Studio. First Memory was recorded at Sun Studio. Now let's hear from Graham about the origin, arrangement, lyrics, and recording of the song. First Memory was like a lot of my songs they just kind of happen you know i'm not really trying to write a song when i write songs it just kind of comes up out of the ground kind of thing i was reading something that was talking about somebody's very first memory like if you really close your eyes and meditate and think about like the first thing you remember as a human being and i started doing that and it, and it occurred to me that the first thing i remember happening in my entire life ever was taking a nap in a crib at my grandma, my Nana's house. And I remember being in the crib and I had to have been maybe two, you know, it was just, and I don't remember anything else up until I was four or five. So this is like that one-off memory from when you're way too young to really, to be remembering anything. But I remember her coming in there and just seeing this bright shining light. And I remember feeling an enormous amount of love because she's the best. And, and she's actually my only living uh, grandparent still. So Nana, if you see this, love you. But I remember her like leaning over the crib bars. And I remember seeing her hands. I remember going in her Minnesota accent, did you have a good snows? <laughs> and it was just like, I still can hear it in my head. And that's what kind of trips me out about the human mind is like, I can remember 20, 31 years later, her exact tone. And when she said that, did you have a good snows? And like, it's my first memory. But I just wanted to write a song that really put that memory in that moment into, into a song and a melody and some lyrics. So that's where it came from. <laughs> thought of it lyrically first because I wanted I became a dad four years ago I now have two I have a four-year-old named Everly and a three-year-old named Miles musical names of course but but I remember tucking them in tucking Everly in and I remember thinking you know this could be his first memory you know like so right around the time I wrote the song I became a dad and I'm sitting there thinking about this concept for a song at the same time I'm tucking Everly in. And I was like, oh my God, that's it. The, I want the first verse to be about my grandma tucking me in as my first memory. And then the second verse, the possibility that this moment right now could be my son's first memory. Yeah, so two verses, one about my first memory and one about Everly's first memory. And I knew I just wanted to keep the song simple since it's about being an infant in, in your first memory. So I just thought, well, if I could just have a little intro and then a verse and, and a, I want the chorus to be simple. So the chorus is literally, you heard me softly say, I love you. It's just the phrase, I love you, which is probably the most common lyric ever. But I wanted that simplicity for a song and, and something about a childhood memory. Um, so yeah, it's just an intro, we got a verse, got a chorus, another verse, a chorus, and then this long instrumental fade out with synthesizers and, and trippiness. I'm sitting there with 
with an acoustic, kind of just strumming the chords to the intro and the verse. And my buddy Jeff Smith, who plays in several bands here in town, and he has a great uh, Instagram called Campfires and Synthesizers. Synthesizers. So give that a follow. He literally plays synthesizers around different campfires around town. It's awesome. He actually brought one of his little synthesizers to work. And so I'm on one side of the room, and then I realized we're just coincidentally jamming in the same key. And I was like, oh my God, that synth sound is what the song needs. That is gonna be what drives the song. And I wanted that blanket synth, because synthesizers that are real patty like that are very comforting to me. And it was almost like the blanket that was around me in the crib during, on that day when I had that first memory. So I wanted that just like ethereal, warm, soft tone of his synth with the acoustic guitar, which also gives me that mix of organic acoustic instrument meets robot, you know, synth action. And it, I think it just really worked together and the song just came together. We got in here and he put an electronic drum beat on one of his synths and then just, we went to town with his other synthesizers and effects pedals and blended that with my vocal and the falsetto vocal and the acoustic. And I, I really am happy with the result.
mind. mind.